Hi everyone, this is V and we are back in the lockdown lab today. Today we're going to be looking at the reaction between acids and metal carbonates and also acids and metal hydrogen carbonates. We're going to be looking at three different carbonates and two different acids because of what I want you to really understand about this is that this reaction occurs the same way no matter what acid and what carbonate you use. So let's get on with our experiment. Okay, the first reaction we're going to do is between hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate. I have some marble chips in my test tube and I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid. So let's have a look at what happens. You can see we're getting some effervescence there. This effervescence is because carbon dioxide is being produced in this reaction. The next reaction we're going to do is still with our marble chips, but we're going to try sulfuric acid. So I want you to see if you can notice any differences or if the same, exactly the same thing happens. Okay, this time we're looking at sodium carbonate. Now we would expect this reaction to be a little faster because I'm using sodium carbonate powder here. So we have a higher surface area, which increases your rate of reaction. So let's have a look first of all with our hydrochloric acid. Definitely a faster reaction there. Okay, our sodium carbonate powder, this time with sulfuric acid. Let's see if sulfuric acid has anything to offer us this time. Much better. This time we're going to try sodium carbonate, but in solution with our hydrochloric acid. Here's our sodium carbonate solution with our sulfuric acid. Whoa! Only just kept that one in the test tube. Okay, last but not least, we're looking at some bicarb soda, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Often we call it sodium bicarbonate. We're going with the hydrochloric acid first. Okay, and our last one is our sodium hydrogen carbonate with the sulfuric acid. Now I've got a fun experiment that you can try at home using the reaction between metals and hydrogen carbonates. So we, what you'll need for this is some white vinegar, some bicarb soda, a candle, and a jug. Okay, so we know that the combustion reaction produces carbon dioxide and water. And we know that we can put out a combustion reaction using carbon dioxide. So this is a neat trick you can do with pouring an invisible gas onto a candle, a burning candle, to put it out. Let's have a go. Okay, so I'm going to place some vinegar into my jug. It doesn't need to be very much. And then I'm going to take a spoon of my bicarb soda, my sodium bicarbonate, just about half a teaspoon, and I'm going to place that into the vinegar. Immediately, we've got that fizz that we've learned to love. 
And because carbon dioxide is very dense, it's going to sit in the jug. So when I pour it onto the flame, it's like magic. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you did, please give it a like. And also, for more fun chemistry, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.